Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 25 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Last episode, we worked on a little bit of an automation system for creating crystallized canola seeds. We only need some seeds to make it work. The problem is we don't have these seeds accessible in our system yet. Uh, we're going to do that pretty much right now. Uh, today's episode, I'd like to focus on getting the full automation of the oil production system that we have in the basement of our power building, which, you know, at some point I should probably finalize and maybe put a door on. Would that be nice? Have a door on that thing? It'd be cool. I don't know. We'll see. No promises. Um, we should probably also look into... The ring of magnetization, maybe blocking. I, I took that off for the time being because I didn't want it to interact with these seeds dropping, but we'll see. Um, so if we want to, we want to get another one of those external storage guys. Boom. Um, so let's go ahead and teach the system how to make these because we're probably going to be using them a lot. Cool. Uh, we can pop into our basement to install this. Yoink. And right back up. Cool. So can you make everything for external storage? You may not know how to make chests, correct, or cables. So let's teach both of those. Basically, as you start going through things, you're going to find, um, let's do this, wood. We don't have any wood in here? Well, there's gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to teach it all kinds of good stuff. What I'm gonna do is, you know what, I should probably get more wood than that for the time being. I have to hook it up to this area over here so that our wood, our canola, our ender pearls, and everything else are, are hooked into our system. That's pretty much my uh, plan for the day. Did I grab two of you, I thought? I want to teach it how to turn wood. And then I also want to teach it how to turn wood planks into a chest. Cool. Um, and then we're probably going to need another crafter, which it's got all the stuff to make. That's cool. Maybe I'll make a crafting monitor today. That might be a good thing to make. Crafting monitors aren't too bad, right? Oh yeah, I totally have the stuff for it. Nice. Okay. Uh, where should I put my crafting monitor? Maybe I could put it on the floor. That might not be a terrible idea. Or I could just put it like over here or something. Yeah, maybe I'll put it back there. Cables? Do I have cables? I totally do. There we go. Crafting monitors are great. They show you what's crafting. So if I were to go ask for a crafter and hit start, you can see what's going on right now. Items are being made, right? So this thing, the machine is in use. It's not letting it craft. Now it's being crafted, the advanced processors. The crafter that we're crafting is waiting for items. In particular, these advanced processors. Nice. And now we've got our second crafter. Crafting monitor is super useful if you want to figure out what's going on in your environment. So let's fill these guys up. That's interesting. Oak chest doesn't have a texture on the shift screen. But now I should be able to make external storage. Nice. That's all the stuff you can make. Cool. And again, the crafter is going to show us all the things being made. Basic processors, destruction core. It's waiting for items. It's waiting for that basic processor. And then it's all crafted. Nice. Let's figure out how I'm gonna run cabling. There we go. I can probably just tap right into the back of this thing. That should be fine. I'll tap into this one just because we have cables here. I might need more cables, but that shouldn't be a problem because I have wireless grid and I taught it how to make cables. So assuming I have the resources, not a problem, right? So let's get upstairs yoink, and figure out. So this is going to run to here, and then we're going to want to basically run over to here. We can just run this straight underground, I think. So the only thing we're going to have to figure out is where under here I want to tap into. What I'll probably wind up doing is maybe 
Let's reroute some of this stuff. Would it be at the end of the world if I tapped my item conduits into the back of this conduit connector? Probably not. So let's... This is currently set to insert on green and extract on cyan. Okay, that's cool. Insert on green, extract on... Why did I use cyan? You guys remember me actually using cyan on this stuff? Oh, beats me. Um, you, Mr. Capacitor Bank, do you really need to be over here at the moment? I feel like the answer is no. This thing's currently base use of 40 RF a tick, right? I have an idea. Let's remove these for the time being and let's get from extra utilities. I always forget the name of these things, but the nice thing about refined storage is you can do the at mod name and it'll show you all the items from that mod. Super cool. Let's use this guy. That shouldn't be a problem, right? We just pop this down here and boom, you're hosting the crafter tier and this stuff. So in fact, I can probably remove all my energy conduits. Isn't that nice? Cool, so with this thing properly configured now, and now that we have this wireless transmitter, it can totally support the power that this thing uses. It does use a spike of power whenever it harvests something. Uh, however, that spike you know, is short-lived, and uh, I think the ADR for tech that we get from this guy should totally survive and manage to take care of this thing for me. So that's pretty awesome. So now we can set an external storage on this fancy guy, the door controller, sweet. Uh, I'm going to bring you down a level or two. Oh, there, silly. Here. Let's put you three blocks down. Cool. So this will be where our uh, cables for refined storage wind up going. And that should be pretty cool. You magnet dude literally one cable left that's awesome all right uh, and then we can drink up here and fill this all in with dirt you know what I might want is a wand I don't have a wand do I have enough diamonds to make a diamond builders wand I can spare a diamond I'm sure I have an iron one sitting around probably, but why not? Let's do this. 64 grass should be enough. So if I do this and that, nice. Looking good. Beautiful. Love it. So that'll do. Builder's wand, you are my hero. Cool, so we've got access to our seeds and wood now. See, we've got 2,100 canola seeds. That's awesome. And now I can demonstrate the thing we made last episode, which is this fancy guy. I wanna see what happens with my uh, magnet on, because I might wanna put a Solongolia over here. Uh, but long story short, I should be able to request, say 10 crystallized seeds and go. See, yeah, they're totally being magneted over. So let's go over to here and hold shift. Yoinks. And then I've got my seeds. Nice. I might want to throw a stack upgrade in the importer down there, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so let's get a Songolia going, because that's easy to do. Two brown, red, and blue, and a redstone root. We'll get a piece of redstone. We'll get our shears. Let's go shear some grass. This will kind of just prevent my magnet from interfering yet again. Dude, this is why I use the magnet from Batania. Literally the main reason, right? Because Solignolia, totally for the win. Cool. 
one of these days I'll differentiate between having my staff of traveling down there and anything else. So let's put the Sognolia down here somewhere. Does this look like a perfect spot? My answer would be yes. So now can I request seeds? Let's just say two. See, no more ring. No more magnet problems. Beautiful. All right. The next thing I want to do is teach this crafting system to what we want to make. Um, now, for this to work, we're going to have to do a little bit of, I think, trickery. Um, did this totally break that thing? It did. So what did I have going on here? This guy was insert on green, extract on brown. So this is going to be extract, insert, extract on green, always active, insert on brown. Cool. So how am I going to do this? We basically need to have three sides to this guy being interacted with. Because um, we need to pipe items out of it. I still want him to be accessible as well, because I might want to do manual crafting with it every now and then. Maybe I'll hide the chest underground. And any manual crafting, I can still use the items up top. Does that sound cool? And then I can access all of the six sides of the chest without having to worry about how things look. I think that's like pretty much a perfect plan. Cool. So let's put something here so I don't fall. Uh, we'll put the chest here still. And that should be cool. So we're going to want a crafter and an importer, which I don't think I taught it how to make importers yet, but we're about to. Make sure that you are set to JEI synchronized, importer, check, and I'm going to need more patterns up here. Can I request like 10 of you? Yeah, that's what's up. Importer, check. Now I can make one. Sweet. So my crafter should be ready and my importer should be almost ready. We're going to need to filter this. Remember that because we don't want it importing the things that go in here for the crafting purposes. So with this here, right, we'll configure this guy again to be insert uh, or extract no, yeah, insert on brown, extract on green, always active. Um, and then we'll probably wind up having an importer on this side. Okay, let's put a thing here. You can be the importer, cool. You can be the cable that goes here. We're gonna need a few more cables. So let's get the 11 that I have and we'll see if that's enough. Now we should have somewhere nearby, we should have cables running up. Trying to minimize the dire wire. That'll do. Hello. Yeah, I could run this right along here, right? Cool. So that's now got energy. This stuff's all good. Let's eat a little bit. And then we're going to want to filter what comes out of here, right? Um, so you are going to be items, whitelist, yada, yada. I want to go get, if we have any, do we have any down here already made? No. We've got the crystallized canola. But I want to filter what's allowed to come out of there. So let's remove this for the time being. Okay. And we will get some canola seeds. So let's test this one, two, three, four. If I put one of you and four of you in here, these should craft and poof, right? So then I can put my importer on this guy, filter it to be only allowed to pick up these items, right? And then we go over here, middle click, by the way, shift middle click to pull out one item at a time. So we're gonna say one of you and four of you yield one of these. Okay, and this goes into this crafter. Okay, so basically 
we should know now how to make empowered canola. And what I can do is come over here and look up canola seeds, and let's say we want 10 of them, hit start and start, and see what's happening? It's auto-crafting the red seeds that we need. And it's throwing them in there. Nice. And now it's making empowered and it's sucking them into the system. How cool is that? Right? Love it. I'm guessing these are, yeah, they're the same. Cool. So now I can cover this system up. Nice. And we have some dirt on us. Pop outside with that. And we are well taken care of. And look at that. Now we should have inside this thing the 10 empowered canola that we requested. How awesome is that? Sweet. All right. So now we're really cooking with this stuff, guys. Uh, let's take a nap and we'll be right back. So now the next thing I'd like to do is set up something of a way to autofill these things, right? So we're going to want to dump our crystallized canola in here, and we're going to want to dump our empowered canola in here so that we can auto craft. See how the system's currently paused because we were out of canola? Now it resumed itself for that one seed that I placed in there. Cool. So we want this to be fully automated. We're going to need to use exporters, these guys, to export into your automatic precision droppers. Cool. Um, so to do that, we're going to figure out exactly how I want these things to work. Because I'd like to be able to bring these in somewhere in a way that doesn't completely look horrible cabling wise. And I'm just now realizing that that's probably harder than it looks. So what I could have is them sitting on the top and hopefully there's not any sidedness to these guys. Looking at you Alpec, there better not be sidedness to this. So what if we ran cables through here? Like that, okay? Um, that doesn't sound too bad. Now I don't know exactly how this is gonna map out to where my existing cable structure is. But we're just gonna have to cross our fingers that we can make our way over there. Okay. So let's see, torches. Kind of going underground to my other base. We're getting somewhere. Nice. There's my uh, there's my my cables. So let's tap into them. Perfect. Okay, we can just run this. I'm gonna run this along the ceiling actually. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to specify to these guys that your job is to export uh, canola seeds. Okay, so you export crystallized seeds and you export empowered seeds. Now you would expect this to be working, but it's not. Because there's something we have to do. We have to add an option into these exporters. It's called the crafting upgrade. Um, and it's this guy, crafting upgrade. Basically it says, if you've got this in here, it allows the exporter to request on-demand crafting of items. So right now, um, let's say that we had empowered canola in our system, it would start exporting the amount that we had, which is five, and then it'll stop because it's not allowed to craft. So we're gonna wanna go do that. So let's go do that. Yoink. So crafting, station solderers require an upgrade redstone and a crafting table okay have we taught you how to make upgrades yet no so let's do that um so i want you to know how to make crafting upgrades require upgrades you also need to know how to make crafting tables okay which can go in here and then I'm going to request an upgrade and a crafting table. It's 
So you should be crafting. Cool. Um, and then we're going to say redstone in here, right? So let's clear this pattern. One of you, one of you, and one of you. And this thing yields the crafting upgrade. They probably got sucked into the system. So now you know how to make a crafting upgrade pattern. Sweet. So if I ask for another one, it should not be a complicated thing to make. Missing six iron. Oh, you're killing me. Are we really that low on iron? What is up? Iron. Got 13 of them at the moment. You know what I need to do? I need to get this system back up and running. That's my current issue. You guys are not connected to my item system. I have to clean up the advanced item laser relays. So what I'm going to have to do is basically figure out how you are going to do what I want you to do. Tricky, tricky, tricky. We'll figure it out. I'll probably wind up having to run cables over there with export buses, but we'll see. Now I'm going to assume that you don't know how to get your items back to where you want them to be, right? These items don't have anywhere to go, really. Not a big deal, by the way. Let's speed this up, because I need more iron. I'm going to have to swap this back to being a regular chest, probably, and have an export bus piping into it. Something along those lines. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Man, you guys are still cooking, huh? I don't have any upgrades in any of these things. There, there's no speed upgrades anywhere. I need all the iron, please. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do about auto smelting. This might move into my basement instead of having a separate smelting building out here. That might wind up being our end solution. So, now can I request a crafting upgrade? Totally. And we can see all the crafting happening going over here. See? Crafting monitor for the win. So now what I'm going to do... Come on, dude, what are you doing? Machine in use. Shouldn't be anymore. Just got a little gummed up, I guess. Machine in use. It's really not, though, dude. Interesting. That's weird. Maybe for some reason it doesn't want to accept the crafting tables and stuff. Might be something a little funny with that. I'm gonna have to investigate what's up there. I did do this right, right? Upgrade, crafting table, redstone. Oh well. We'll figure it out in a bit. For now, let's get... So check this out, right? If I'm ready to teleport home, if I told you that you're allowed to craft, right, when we teleport home, we should see this thing crafting. See the seeds? Boom. And it's crafting everything it needs to make that inventory be nice and full. Okay. I didn't want to put that in there. Crafting upgrade. We're going to put the crystallized canola seeds in there. Cool. So this whole auto crafting should be good to go. And you are going to fill up with crystallized canola seeds, basically. See? 59. Now I'm going to put um, crafting upgrades in here. 
and what we should see if we go back home. This is happening. Cool. So it's going to on demand to make all the stuff that it needs. See? All this is what's currently being auto crafted. And that's pretty awesome. And now we're auto crafting the crystallized canola seeds to make everything satisfied. Now it's gonna take a minute to build up the backlog of canola seeds. One other thing I wanna teach the system how to make um, is how to make crystallized canola seeds out of canola. Because as you remember, we're using a lot more canola seeds than we are canola. So I just want it to know that, yeah, if you ever get stuck, you can totally convert canola into crystallized canola, or canola into canola seeds. Right? It'll use what it already has first, right? So it'll burn up these 2.1, right? The other thing I want to do real quick is get another export bus. Start that dude crafting. Bum -ba -da -bum 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 -bum. Look at all this stuff it's doing. Loving it. We're going to export canola into the uh, press back in that area. Cool. So exporter from refined storage. Check. Cool. Cool. You're going to come over here. Um, where do I want to tap you into? Because we're getting power into the bottom, right? No, we're not doing power into the bottom. I've got power going into this thing from here, so we can totally tap into the bottom of this thing. Uh, I need a few more cables. Good, I have a few more cables. Dire wire all the things. Can I pipe into the bottom of you? Looking at you, Elpec. Canola. Yay, I can! Nice. And see how the exporter is filling this thing faster? Um, and you should be getting power, I think. I gotta figure out a good way to do this. I don't want this power drain to be feeding the thing that's under the floor. Let me take a nap real quick so that mobs don't show up while I'm doing this. All right, so a good place to put this might be if I pop you there, how many tiles? You're serving 20 tiles, goodness. As long as you're not serving this guy then I'm happy. You're definitely more than four blocks away from this thing, right? Yeah, you can't possibly be serving him. Yeah, you're probably just serving all these pressurized fluid conduits, which is fine. As long as you're serving this thing. Yeah. Dude, I love those things. It's just like, hey, I have a small need for power somewhere, and I don't have a great way to wire it. Super perfect for that solution. All right, so if we look down here, what we should see now is canola seeds going into here pretty much automatically. See? Empowered canola shows up, and we're good to go. Nice. There's one thing that I'm seeing, and I'm maybe not loving... This thing's going a little bit slowly. It's doing two at a time now because of what's being, it's, there's two things requesting it, but it's basically asking for one at a time. It's a little bit slow. Um, what I might wanna do is increase what we do here. Maybe make it so that like the recipe says five canola turn into five crystallized canola so that it forces it to craft five or 10 at a time. That might be a good idea. So let's do that. 10. I'm gonna steal you, okay? And we're gonna say, ten of you yield ten of you. Okay, we're gonna swap out this pattern in here. So now it should craft ten at a time when it goes to do its request. See? Yep, 
Yeah, totally did that. Awesome. And maybe let's teach it how to make a speed upgrade. That is an upgrade sugar and redstone, huh? See how to make sugar. Let's say that we only need one of these. This can go be cleared out. I think it's either put it in here or shift click it. There we go. Shift click it removes the pattern and we can reuse the pattern. Cool. So we will say you, you and the upgrade. Yield speed upgrade. Now we know how to auto craft these things. Ah, it got sucked into the system. Okay, cool. Put this pattern down here. Totally gonna need to stop teleporting through walls at some point. And I'll just put these speed upgrades that I have. I could make a stack upgrade if I wanted to, but I think we'll be all right. Where's that? This guy. So that should be cool now, right? Totally running a little bit faster. This was my bottleneck. So by saying craft 10 at a time instead of one at a time, instead of it dropping one in, it takes a second or two for it to craft, kicks off the thing, sucks it into the system. Like it was like a five second delay between each crafting. Now it crafts 10 at a time. Um, so that five second delay only occurs for once every 10 items, right? So if we take a look in here, we should see that we've got 11 canola seeds, right? 10, that's awesome. And now all the auto crafting is occurring the way we would like to see it occur. Beautiful, right? Isn't this awesome? So now literally everything about this setup is automated, right? We're keeping this stocked with crystallized canola. We're keeping this stocked with empowered canola. It's totally crafting everything we need. Everything is backstuffed because we're full. Like these oil conduits are full. These things are full. They're starting to run now, so that backstuffing might disappear, right? At some point, this is going to drain enough to pick up a bucket's worth, okay? And when that happens, it'll kick off the next crafting operation in the system. Watch. Boom. And then this one crafts because it's ready to go. And now we're back stuffed again until this drains. Beautiful, right? Um, and then this thing is auto filling with canola. This will eventually get back stuffed. And this thing will stop running. And pretty much we are now fully automated with power production from canola. Like literally start to finish everything from the creation of the cola, canola over here, the harvesting of it, the storing of it in barrels with lots of up upgrades. Um, Dude, it's, it's just working. It's great. And believe it or not, that is a wrapping up point for the video. So for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, we will come back next time. Uh, now that we've got fully automated power gen, uh, we could even throw a couple more canola generators over here if we wanted to. More oil generators if we really start having power production issues. But I think we're going to be fine. Um, I'm really pleased with the way this whole build worked out. And refined storage totally helping us out. What are we going to start working on next? Um, I think our refined storage is in pretty good shape. Clearly, I need to go mining. So I think I'm going to go do that right now. Um, what I think I'd like to do is instead of using my hammer, I want to get the drill upgrade. What upgrades are available in my drill? I've got the one and two speed augment. Let me try out the drill mining upgrade three. That requires diamantine crystals, basic coil, and a nori crystals. Not a bad thing. Um, I'm going to go teach my system how to make all this stuff. Uh, for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.